Hey Guardians, Jay Walking here, welcome back, and today Bungie released the Destiny 2 Witch Queen Weapons and Gear trailer. This is going to be a brief breakdown. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, jump to this timestamp or visit the link in the video description. Here we go. First thing I noticed in the thumbnail, you can see our Guardians holding their glaives. Uh, each glaive has different elements, so who knows what that's about. Maybe you can change the element, or maybe it changes based on your subclass. That's what my buddy Ice Pick Gaming theorized. We're going to see what uh, what happens once weapon crafting drops, which, by the way, weapon crafting looks cool as f***. All right, now we have the new exotic weapons. I'm not sure if these are new weapon archetypes, but let's see. We've got the Grand Overture, Slug Launcher, charges full auto missiles, looks like a rocket launcher. Kind of makes you wonder if this is going to be kind of like an easier to obtain Eyes of Tomorrow. You know what I mean? Look out, Gambit Rework, I'm coming for you. Parasite, Worm Launcher, literally. <laughs> Fires with increasing damage. So maybe like Full Court, or maybe it's based on something else. Osteostriga. Swarming projectiles trigger a toxic burst. So this is the SMG we've been seeing in all the marketing. Uh, looks like necrotic grip turned into a gun. I'm excited, let's go. This part of the trailer really excited me because I had no idea that there were class specific actions for your glaive. So first we have the Titan Glaive, edge of action. Place protective shield, think many wards of dawn, question mark? I'm betting that these protect you, maybe give you a variation of armor of light, but I kind of doubt that they give you weapons of light too, but this is pretty cool, you can shoot wards at your teammates who, you know, <clears throat> might be out of position. Warlock Glaive, Edge of Intent. Deploy Healing Turret. Think Stasis Turret, only it heals you and your fire team. Hunter Glaive, Edge of Concurrence. Tracking Chain Lightning. I have a feeling that Arkstrider's coming back, y'all, and since I was an Arkstrider main back in the day, I really, really hope so. Here we see a couple of new weapons. Looks like an elixir themed hand cannon in the style of Reesewalker, Peace Bond, Archon's Thunder, so probably an Iron Banner weapon. That's exciting. And then I have it on good authority from Twitter that this is a uh, Valakaden. Va Va Valak Valakaden? Am I saying that right? On to the exotic armor. This section is really cool because it shows a fire team of one Titan, one Warlock, and one Hunter using the new exotics to destroy the other team. First, we have the Titan, Horfrost Z Chest. Stasis Wall replaces Barricade. This thing looks fantastic. It's like a massive towering barricade uh, morphed with a rally barricade. It's huge, look at it. It's like, what? Next we have a Warlock, Osmio uh, Osmiomancy Gloves. Additional cold snap with enhanced tracking. So I think if I'm playing as Warlock and I'm on Shadebinder, I will love these gloves. I think if I'm playing against Warlock, I'm gonna hate these gloves, what do you mean? <laughs> Last, we have Hunter, Blight Ranger Helmet. Reflected projectiles do increase damage. See, Arc Strider. Okay, so when I first saw this, I was like, okay, but then watch. <laughs> right? You want some ice? Lastly, we see our Guardians in the new, I'm assuming, seasonal armor with the exotic weapons going up against Sabathun. Guys, gals, NBs, this is really exciting. This is very, very exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you too. If you found this video useful, like, comment, sub, peace. What is the relic on Mars? The power to create your own weapons.